welcome to this no code app development using Google Firebase and AppGyver. In the last video, as I showed you the app, and from this video, we're gonna start developing the same app so that you have a reference in your mind. So let's talk about reference architecture. In this case, we will have data in CSV, but then even if you have data in a database like Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, BigQuery, Redshift, anywhere, you can use that database as well. From here, the data will be consumed by a Python code for Firebase. And I'm gonna put the link to the Python code as well as to this data CSV in the video description section below so that you can easily use it for your reference. Next is we're gonna use Google Firebase, which is a NoSQL real-time database built for mobile applications as well as web applications or any other kind of an application like an Android TV or iPads and different devices. And then we are going to use AppGyver for the front end. So data would be used to load on in Google Firebase using Python. And then Google Firebase would be used as a data repository for AppGyver. AppGyver would, would be having the app, which can give you an APK or an iOS a download or a Mac OS or web applications, different form. We'll talk about that in the future videos, but this is how this would work. So Firebase, Colab, Google Colab, we will use to run Python code and then AppGyver, which is this symbol we will use. So there are three tools or three products that we will be using, Google Colab, Google Firebase and AppGyver, all three are free. Google Firebase, is free to a certain extent, but for our purposes, this would certainly be free. Next. In order to do this, what you should do is just follow the few next few steps and then set up yourself in these on these three services. Now let's look at the data that we are gonna use for our purposes. So the first data that we are gonna use is a master underscore group file. Master underscore group file has three columns. Where do you get the file? In the video description section below, there is a Google Drive link with a tiny URL. So click on that tiny URL and you will get to the Google Drive link to get download the master underscore group dot CSV file. So these are three columns, take a look. And this is the CSV file right here. So group ID, group name, count. So this, these are the courses. Google BigQuery, Big Data Machine Learning, Pattern Play Python, blah, blah, blah. And these are the count of videos. You can see that for now, I have put all the zeros for other things because when we build the app, I'm gonna show you how you can update the data, manage your data as well. Therefore, to start with, I haven't got all the data possible yet, all right? Next is with this data set, you are gonna convert this into a JSON format. JSON format is basically in this, wherein you will have the, the Firebase and I'm gonna show you how you create the Firebase right now. In the Firebase, you will have learn as the parent node. Underneath the learn, you have master underscore group. And then within master underscore group, you have zero, one, two, so on and so forth. These are the nodes. And then this is the group count and ID. So this format we want from this data. And therefore we will use Python program. Next, there is another file for now, which is group ID, group name, video ID, video name, and link. Let me show it to you here. So this is the data, group ID, group name, video ID, video name, and link, which shows you the 
course content for this particular course. So this is the course name and these are the different contents of the videos for that course. Again, this CSV file will be available for you to download from the Google Drive link, which is mentioned in the video description section below. Next, we're gonna use this and convert it into learn master underscore videos and zero one two three the zero one two three is required for the app guyver please understand that it's not a firebase thing this is required for the app guyver so when we go there you will come to know the way we convert this to this is using the python and finally to get started these are the links that you will use collab to run the python code firebase for json database real time updates and then app guyver for creating the front end of the application so in the next video i'm going to get you started step by step on this particular thing again keep watching